Hi friends, how are you doing? It is uh, Wednesday, the 3rd of April today, and I have forgotten completely what day it was, but I wanted to, to pop in and say, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, I am exhausted of moving between two different houses for a little bit. I'm still living out of bags and random stuff. Uh, my um, It's Raining Yarn bag actually has my blanket in it. No sneak peeks for you. I have two days to finish it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we are never close, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I come to you today, one, with a with a visitor, and, and I'm still not... Wait, hi, Toby! <laughs> with a visitor. Uh, he has taken over this blanket that's over here in the corner. Uh, he drug it out of the closet. It was folded up nice and whatever. I was putting laundry away the other day. He put drug it out of the closet, has moved it all over the house. I've now put it there because he will lay down and chill there for a little while. Um, eventually. <laughs> eventually. I don't know where he went. But anyway, if you see him in the back, pay him no mind. He's he's uh he's really the one that runs the show here. So anyway, uh I have two shawls on the needles right now. One of which you've seen before, one of which you have not seen before. I'm kind of excited about, actually. Um, let me grab you grab the bag that it lives in because ah, I'm stuck on the microphone. Yes, it lives in D's bag. Um, <laughs> both of them have been in D's bag for a little while, and funny enough, that means that they're both kind of D shawls. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by showing off the hitchhiker. Uh, I mentioned in in one of my last videos that a one skein of, of fingering weight yarn will make a reasonably price, uh, reasonably priced, reasonably priced, really? No, reasonably sized uh, shawlette, uh, perfect for rubbing on your neck a couple of times, making a little fashion statement uh, if you want to do so as any good accessory does. Um, but also uh, it's a perfect knit for those that are brand new to knitting and don't like a lot of variation in the stitches, whatever. This is the Hitchhiker Shawl. This is knit being knit out of some of D's Creative Hands Crochet's uh, hand-dyed yarn. And the colors in this are just striking. I absolutely love that I've finally gotten the color balance right on this, this camera here. Took a little while of work. Uh, getting ready for our live stream on Saturday. Come see, 12 p.m. Eastern. The video is already scheduled on the, on the page. So anyway, um, D shawl. This is the Hitchhiker Shawl by Martina Bem. I'm still loving this process. This is going to get a lot of knitting this week and possibly on Saturday during our live stream. Um, because I'm trying to take a break from crochet and focus only on the blanket itself. I'll show you the cake of yarn that I have left here. I have two of these, these, these um, Hanks. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to add the second one onto this shawl here. I've got it on. Let me do it this way. Uh, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to... What is that? I don't know. I'm all over the place. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to add the second skein to this. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how many teeth I get and how big it feels once I get through this, this cake of yarn. This is going to take me a while. But once I get through the cake and get all of this ready, then um, Toby's distracting me. Uh, I'll make the decision of whether I'm going to add the second one onto it because I don't know. I don't know. Thinking if I don't, the second one will be maybe a line of shawl. Maybe um, there's a hat going around Musselberg, I think is the name. Uh, I think I might do a hat with it. That'd be cool be cool I don't know now we're gonna move the bed around <laughs> he'll do that three times a night anyway um, so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna to work through this skein see if I want to add the second one I don't know if I want to yet I might though uh, it really just depends how big it is. If it doesn't fit the size that I'm looking for specific to me I'm stuck in it now um, I'll add the second one in. I might just add the second one just to see how big it'll get. I don't know. My goal is the pattern calls for 
uh, around 47 teeth, I believe, from one skein. I don't know how many I have right now. It's in the 20s. But um, I might go to 42. 42 is a good number for me. So we'll see. But I, I love this color. Can you believe this color? D just had a dib sale that I had to miss because I was not here. Um, D's yarn is amazing. If you can get a hold of it, grab you some because it will not disappoint at all. Um, <laughs> absolutely will not disappoint. So that's my hitchhiker. Link to the pattern will be in the description box below. Um, and there will be two links for it, one to Ravelry and one to the blog that it comes from, uh, directly from the designer. The pattern is available in two places, so take your pick, because I know some of you don't like Ravelry, and I respect that. Um, check it out. It's by Annette Cords, or Cordes, Cordes, Cords. Um, no, Hitchhiker, Martina Vem. Line of Shaw is the net cords. I'm all over the place. Hitchhikers by Martina Bim. Link in the description. Martina has several patterns like this, and I would love to knit one of each of her examples of this particular style of shawl. So, ooh, that's an idea. Maybe I do one out of the second hank. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to, to do some research there. <clears throat> I apologize. I started sneezing about two seconds before I hit record. And this is anyway, anyway. So secondly, I was browsing the interwebs for a pattern of an easy ish to knit circular or semicircular or half circle or moon shaped shawl, uh, because I've never made one in that shape knitting wise, I have crocheted a few of them. Uh, but I've never knit one before, so I wanted to find a pattern for that specifically, and I did. And it's from our friend over um, over on the YouTube streets, Fiber Spider. I will link the pattern in the description below. Uh, the reason I had this video specifically in mind is because I used the bind off uh, from the shawl, the, the bind off that's demonstrated in this shawl video in my line of shawl, which is right there hanging, the neon stripes. Um, I use that bind off. So the bind off that I use is in the video as well. That'll be in the description. Um, and I'm going to tag everybody, their brother in that video. <laughs> but as I drop so many things on the floor, oh, no, that was the knitting needle. I use 40 inch cables every chance I get, because you never know how the big, these things are going to get. So now you start, I'll show you the shawl that's upside down. That's upside down. No, it's not. There you go. Yeah, this is the, 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 uh, what? I need to find the name of this shawl. I cannot remember the name of the shawl. It'll be in the description. It's from Fiber Spider. Anyway, you start with a garter tab cast on right in the middle. Where's my camera? Here we are. Garter tab cast on right in the middle here. And then you uh, just increase in a couple of places every row and you start to get this semicircular shape it will continue to grow now this is the top i have it upside down i have it upside down so it will continue to grow and it'll grow in depth as it does uh, width as well every single row super easy pattern if you're new to knitting and want to do a shawlette or uh, you have a skein of yarn that you want to use up. You don't know what to do with it. Maybe try this pattern. Get a needle size that you think makes a complementary fabric to the yarn that you're looking for. Don't worry about gauge. It's not important. Just knit until you get tired of it. And you'll you'll have an item that you can wear. I did not do a good job with this this um, this garter, ta uh, garter tab cast on. Um, it's a little tighter than I would like it to be. So it's causing some bunching on my needles. This is made out of acrylic, so I'd, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to, to block that out. But this yarn is some that I had in my stash. Let me orchestrate myself here. So when I go to stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or you know any of these these big box stores Joann's that sell yarn in the value acrylics that you see all over the place I will go and buy 
between two and three skeins of each color if I can get it in the same uh, dye lot for this reason by itself. Now, when I make a scarf, and you can see a couple of examples back here in the dark, um, with this rectangle end right here, that's the edge of a scarf. When I make a scarf and I knit a scarf, I know for me specifically for a length that I am comfortable with wearing, um, I need a size eight needle uh, between 25 and 30 stitches, and it's two skeins of yarn on average, and I will use the whole thing. That's for just garter stitch. If I'm doing something extra, it might be more or less yardage, depending on what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, so this yarn, I bought two skeins of... Hold on. Field trip. Okay. Um, it is... I love this yarn. Print. In the colorway. Painted Canyon. There we go. Painted Canyon. Right? This is gorgeous. It has the peaches, it has the yellows, it has the the robin's egg blues and the, the the grays and the whites. It's 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 gorgeous. But what I'm finding fascinating is that it's a striping yarn when I do it in, in this particular pattern. Um, so I'm really curious to see what happens when I get a little bit further into the skein and I start seeing some of the yellows come through because I haven't gotten there yet. It's going to be an interesting garment, I think, for sure. I showed this to my mom earlier and I said, Mom, I think this is going to be one that ends up in your in your bucket to keep if you like uh, before we donate it, because I always give her the option of, of keeping items that I make if she wants it. <laughs> uh, I think this one's going to end up in her wheelhouse. Uh, I will use all two skeins that I have of this available to me, all two of these, uh, and I will keep knitting that until I run out of patience or I run out of yarn, which one comes first. We'll see which one that is. Hopefully it's most of the yarn, <laughs> but my mom is 5'2". She's very um, small in stature, so it's not difficult to make her shawls and scarves and things that will actually fit her, whereas I'm 5'10", fluffy. Anyway, um, we look like two totally different people, um, different shaped people when side by side. Like You can't even imagine that that's where I came from. But anyway, uh, she's always been tiny. Anyway, the, the point is that it is not difficult to make her things um, that fit her. So she, if she doesn't like it, might donate it, might give it away. I don't know. Maybe one of you will end up with it if you want it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm working on right now. That's not my blanket. My blanket's getting the rest of my focus. So... I think we're good for now. Uh, that's my current progress. I do have a couple of updates. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a live stream happening on Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern uh, on this channel here on YouTube. I hope you can make it. Um, if you can't, I totally understand. There will be more in the future. You will also be able to watch the replay. So I'm hoping that it'll be a fun time for everybody. Toby will make some appearances. Hopefully he will be awake. Who knows? Uh, he has had just had his dinner and his evening net walk, so he's ready for bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's he's ready. Uh, we had a long, a long night last night. Uh, there was some bad weather that came through. So anyway, uh, live stream Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Um, additionally, there are some things coming to the channel that I'm super, super excited about, one of which I have given... Uh, to my Facebook mods. It's the, the mod challenge, as we're calling it. Uh, basically, the challenge is this. <laughs> See how much you can annoy Lucas. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, they have been tasked with the following. Pick a pattern, knit or crochet, doesn't matter. Uh, pick the yarn. Send it to me, and I will make the thing. Now, I did that. Those are the only stipulations I gave. No color stipulations, no, no pattern, technique, skill level, none of that. Whatever they send me, I have to make. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So Amy and Jen, Facebook mods, um, are on the lookout for that specific project. Um, and then when they're ready, they'll let me know that it's on its way. And we will see what happens. Um, you will see the whole thing on this channel, <laughs> but 
from me opening it to my reaction to everything that they send um and the patterns that they choose for all of this you'll you will see my honest reaction on the channel and then the struggles that i go through trying to make the items the re the reason behind I, me doing this is because sometimes I struggle picking something outside of my wheelhouse, outside of the things that I usually do that would be interesting for me to make and also something that I think would be fun uh, for YouTube. There's a ton of stuff that I do outside of YouTube that I don't show uh, because nobody wants to see me make 87 dish gloss a week. Nobody wants to see that. Anyway, maybe you do. If you do, cool, whatever. But sometimes I really, really get in a rut and I struggle at picking patterns and yarns and those kinds of things. So I thought this might give me some creative juices and I think it's already working. <laughs> I think it's already working. So whenever those come into play in the channel, uh, I originally told the mods, maybe we do it in September, October ish. I think some of them might come early. If they come early, they're going to be started early. So. Uh, they don't know that yet. They're going to hear this in the video. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> so you send the items to me, um, to my mods only. Uh, no, I'm not going to be making everybody's projects all the time. Um, we will, uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, if depending on how well this goes, depending on uh, the success of this, um, we might do it again. We might open it up to more people. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of sketchy things that could come into my door. I legitimately could get a case full of scrubby and be told I have to make a rug or I don't know, a hexagardigan out of scrubby. I, oh, oh, no, mm -mm. I, I will have to do it, but I will hate every single moment of it. Just so you know. All right. <laughs> no, I, I, I love Scrubby for what it is. I just don't want to make something that big out of it. I have my limits. I know my limits. It'll be all right. Well, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today, friends. I'm going to go get back to work on my blanket. Hopefully I can finish it in time. I'm hopeful that I can get it in time. But if I can't, it's okay. It is quite all right. Um. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for your, your patience as we go through the, the issues that are happening. And uh, until next time, until next time, happy stitching.